Welcome back. And we just uh, had a nice little uh, look at how UFA and, and Jim Donner is, is uh, handling his equipment uh, uh, on the highways. And uh, we've got a similar clip coming up with uh, equipment handling uh, with ATCO. Mm -hmm. Another partner. Now, tell us about ATCO. Why did ATCO, I, I mean, this is ATCO Electric. Yeah. Why would they get involved with, an, with a primarily agriculturally based foundation? Yeah, well, I think there's a, there's a few reasons why ATCO is involved with Ag for Life. Uh, first of all, they have a, like all of our founders, they have a very, very strong commitment to safety. In fact, I think one of their mottos is safety first. And uh, again, it's very, very important to them uh, as they look after their, uh, their own employees. But I think the other thing that's really important is ATCO's in um, hundreds of rural communities across Alberta. And again, their employees work and live in those communities. Mm -hmm. That's where their customers are. So it's very, very important to them that they relate to their customers and to their employees. And safety is the connection point. Absolutely. So how did they get involved? Well, ATCO is one of our founders, and mm -hmm. um, when they were approached to uh, become involved with Ag for Life, I think honestly it was a bit of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. um, with all of our founders, our values are so aligned mm -hmm. that it just makes sense, and uh, and it's been a great partnership. Well, excellent. And the and the video clip we're about to see uh, is about exactly what you're talking about about that rural commitment and uh, being a local company almost. Yeah. The local representatives are very close. To the to the producer, mm -hmm. interact with them almost daily, yeah. and uh, really are, have a, a significant partnership and impact in the community yeah, as well. Absolutely. So let's go to that clip uh, out at uh, Frere's place in uh, Three Hills. Hi, I'm John Dorn with Adco Electric. I've been with the company for 32 years. I've been in the farming community serving customers for as long. We have a lot of new equipment that is uh, manufacturers have made it higher. And unfortunately, a lot of the power lines haven't been raised because they're older. Uh, the other hazard is, of course, uh, during harvest and during seeding, they're very busy trying to get their crop in the ground, dealing with weather, dealing with you know multitudes of situations, and uh, they're not always thinking about power lines. You can't see it, you can't hear it, and you can't smell it. Therefore, it's not first and foremost in their minds. You know, unfortunately, because they, because of the big hurry, rush, and the weather situations, not always are the farmers aware. And we've had a tremendous amount of uh, contacts this year. In fact, just in our area, we've had 24 farm contacts with power lines, wh whether it's contact of the power line directly or a power pole. Uh, and that concerns me because, uh, unfortunately, somebody's going to get hurt, equipment gets damaged, and possibly people can get killed. For instance, uh, an individual farmer needs to move a grain bin. We prefer that they get a hold of us so that we could confirm the height of the bin and confirm the route. So therefore we can make it safe for them to move it. And we gladly do that in to make it safe for the farmer. At Adco Electric, safety first is, is our motto. We like to live that way. I don't want to see anybody that I know, and even people I don't know, get hurt because they're not aware of power line safety. Now I understand uh, John from, from the people at ATCO has been a long time employee with, with uh, mm -hmm. ATCO in that area and has a very good relationship with, with the community and mm -hmm. I think that's important for that utility to do that. Uh, we saw some of the equipment in there, the large spare booms mm -hmm. and, and augers coming through, which is pretty typical. Uh, the way that equipment is built today, uh, it's a lot higher, mm -hmm. a lot higher capacity, and much more industrialized than it was maybe 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, what we didn't, uh, we were out there, and and there were some combines as well that we were were dealing with, but we didn't get any any mm -hmm. effective things with them because they don't actually, they're not actually that high. But the augers, I think, are the big deal, mm -hmm. uh, and. And, and as you probably well know, a lot of the grain bins now are, are much higher, yeah. uh, larger capacity, so the equipment has changed. Uh, when I was out talking with uh, uh, Johnny, mentioned that they had an issue uh, uh, in the area where uh, a previous setting on a GPS uh, uh, coordinates mm -hmm. on an on a auto steer type tractor. Um, it was upgraded to a new tractor, but they didn't upgrade the software, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden they contacted a gas line yeah. 
Now, that's not related to the electric, mm -hmm. but it's related to the gas side of ATCO business. Yeah. So the, the technology has changed so much that even the slightest uh, mistake, well, I wouldn't call it a mistake, it, assumption, it can result in, in, in something catastrophic. And I think in that incident, they had to obviously shut off the gas, but mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a major gas leak at the time. So when you look at what they're doing in the community, uh, that's, a, that's really quite significant now. Yeah. Well, I, I think John brings up uh, some really good points. Uh, you know, one of the points he raises is the fact that as technology has changed, as it's become bigger, as the size of farms is, is increasing and the need for larger equipment, um, it's uh, maybe outpacing the the uh, relocation of the above ground mm -hmm. wires. Yep. So you have wires that maybe aren't as high as you'd like them to be, but the equipment has certainly has certainly grown. So you got a bit of a disconnect uh, there. And I think the other point he raises uh, as well is that, you know, whether it's during seeding or harvesting, uh, the farmer's busy and they've yes. got a lot of things on their mind and they're trying to to get some certain things done and um, And sometimes you know, it's hard to balance all those priorities of of moving the equipment doing what you want and also remembering There's a wire up there oh, or a line or a wire down below. That's I mean, right. They're, they're also very big on the call before you dig. Yes. Uh, anytime that you, yeah. you open the ground up, a ground disturbance is a big thing now yeah. uh, that, uh, you know, you shouldn't be making that first call. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's not just in the industrial and construction world, it's now in the agriculture world. It's being more and more emphasized by them, mm -hmm. which is great. And, and you know, the, the, the one thing I also see on that is John makes a real connection there that he doesn't want to see anybody he knows or anybody, in fact, uh, get injured. And, and I think that that speaks to the fact that, um, you know, he on behalf of ATCO is really personalizing the work that they do out there. Absolutely. That this isn't just a, an exercise in safety, this is about people. Well, and, and going to, to, what did you say, contacts or connections? Mm -hmm. Contacts, you mentioned 24 contacts mm -hmm. in that part uh, up, to, up to September in 2013 yeah. there in his area. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty significant. Yeah. That says, you know, there needs to be a bit of a greater awareness on the overhead lines. Uh, they are responding to it with saying, hey, it's a free program, come on out yeah. and, and let us know and we'll, we'll help you move those lines. Let's be safe, right? Yeah. And I think that's a great point, you know, because there you see the cooperation and the collaboration and the communication that's going on between somebody that is, is partnering with the farmer and rancher. Uh, for the for the betterment for the for the safety of that farmer and rancher. Excellent. And when we come back, we're going to talk to our last partner for the day, which is Penn West. So join us in a moment. <laughs> 